Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Foundation plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we're going to be talking about these um, stem wall openings, or the stem wall opening toolbar, which is uh, these three items or functions here. Uh, draw an opening, move an opening, edit an opening, and delete an opening. And basically, when I say openings, I mean windows and doors. So let's go ahead and get started and just go ahead and draw a polyline stem wall and just I'm going to start with a 96 uh, inch stem wall which is 8 feet tall okay, it could be anything we want but something like that should do the trick and let's see here alright we're just stretching out the wall here and again the down arrow uh, completes the polyline stem wall Okay, so there's our stem wall, 8 feet tall, and we're going to go ahead and add a door in there. So to do that, we just go ahead and click the draw opening. And by default, it automatically starts with a door, but uh, it, you know you can also switch it to a window. When you switch it to a window, you're given uh, only one rough opening offset, whereas with a door, you have two. You have a horizontal and a vertical rough opening offset. So the difference is, is that the, um, and, and as you mouse over the stem wall, of course, you can, uh, you know, see your preview, but um, the difference with the horizontal is, <coughs> or uh, with, the, with the two, the door and the window, the horizontal gives you um, the offset on both sides of the door, and then the vertical is specific to above the door opening. So basically it separates the two. And then with a window, um, you're given one offset, and that offset uh, basically is around the entire perimeter of the window. So, um, you know, a 36 by 36 window with an inch and a half offset would actually be 39 by 39. So let's go ahead and uh, throw this door in here real quick. And you can see that um, in this particular case, it's lifted uh, four inches above. Um, because, you know, in, the, in this case I might have a slab that I've poured and I want that to meet that slab. However, there are some cases, you know, where you might want to have the slab actually come through the opening and so then you might want to drop that door down all the way to the footing. So, for that, let's go ahead and use the edit function and just click that and then just mouse over the opening and you can select it. And so, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this header height to 80 inches. Okay, and when I do that, um, you can see that now it is cut out all the way to the footing. However, the one thing to note is that, you know, if that were the case, then I actually, and you put that 4 inch slab here, I would need uh, this door opening, this rough opening, to be actually 4 inches taller than it actually is right now. So, yeah, let's go back in. We'll edit that real quick. So basically, what I'm saying is, is that uh, you know you need to add four inches to the. You, d you don't want to change the nominal height because that's being called out here. But you, what you do is you would just add a additional four inches into that vertical offset. So that would be six and a half inches. So we'll go ahead and hit update. Okay, so there you go. Um, <coughs> there's your uh, you know your. 3068 door and it is the, uh, allowing for a 4 inch slab to be poured into the opening. Okay, so that's pretty much a door. Let's go ahead and move that door now. So you go ahead and select that door and then you'll see the, the first click selects the door and then the second click will allow you to position it. And again, you can key in your dimensions down here. Um, so let's just go ahead and move that door over uh, 4 feet. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's moving a door and then um, deleting it. Well, fairly basic, same thing, select the door and it's gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and add, or add in, let's say, a uh, window here. Just to show you what that's like. 48 inches, maybe, for that window. Just leave everything else the same. Okay. And uh, let's just throw one right over here. Okay, and so there's some couple of windows. Now, uh, just to see what this does when we go ahead and change it to CMU, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm switching the stem wall type now to CMU. Okay, and when I do that, you can see that it displays quite nicely. Um, 
you know, I, I actually need to change that wall thickness to 8 inches to make that really look proper, of course. So let's go ahead and change that to 8. Okay, so that looks better. So now you can see we've got a CMU wall uh, with some windows in it. And, um, and again, the materials and textures work out quite nicely that way. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and switch this back to regular concrete. I guess it doesn't really matter, but just wanted to show you what that CMU texture looks like. Um, so now, uh, basically, when I I'm, I'm going to go ahead and delete these windows just to start off here, kind of with a fresh, clean slate. Um, <coughs> So what I want to show you now is what happens with rebar um, inside this concrete wall. So I'm going to go ahead and change the transparency of this guy so it's fairly transparent. And <coughs> right now we've got just top and bar, top and bottom bar, sorry. I'm going to change that um, just to horizontal and vertical bar. So I'm going to just turn these ones off for now. And let's see, where is it? I'm going to turn this on, or turn on vertical bar. Maybe we'll put these at 16 inch on center, and we'll turn off that bottom bar. I mean, we could do all of them, but I'm just going to keep it simple here. <coughs> so first of all, yeah, yeah, we've got to we've got to get ourselves a bunch of rebar in there, and we don't have to do it before we put the windows and doors in. But I just wanted to show you, you know, that's kind of what you're starting out. Clean slate. You've got a wall with a bunch of rebar in it. Now we're going to go ahead and add a couple windows in there now. So let's go ahead and switch that to window and let's just go ahead and drop a couple of uh, zoom up a little more here and you can see you know it takes a little longer now to add in those windows because what's happening is, is it's having to trim out you know it does a boolean subtraction um, and it has to trim out that rebar and so you know it, it, it takes a little bit of crunching basically to make that all happen um, <clears throat> you know but it, it, with a substan you know you can see it's not too long but with a good computer um, you shouldn't have too much trouble with that so yeah basically it's trimming out the rebar now I haven't added a function where it adds additional rebar around that opening yet I may I may give that some consideration if there's call for it but right now it's just trimming it three inches back uh, basically takes a three inch clearance and trims it around um, any opening window or door so yeah, I'll turn off this grid so you can see that a little better so basically that's uh, you know in a nutshell that I think that covers um, this new toolbar and it's uh, you know opening features um, if you have any questions or you know need more features added um, I'm always open to suggestion so uh, please you know send me an email give me a call um, you know, I'm always uh, here at my desk working, so um, I'm usually readily available. So anyways, uh, and lastly, I just wanted to give a shout out to my uh, youngest daughter, Nathania, for always taking the time to watch these tutorial videos, even though I, I realize they're not the most exciting content. So anyways, and thank you, everyone, and uh, thank you for your support.